another GTO has arrived, and this one might leave you laughing. It might not be because of what you think, but it's got the funny gas. Anything with the funny gas goes fast. And obviously in the case of this one, a little too fast for the driver's ability. But we've got all the fun stuff and the fun switches. So this guy is gonna make one sweet ride. And on the news, we have nice pair of black leather GTO seats. Stitching looks better than par on these guys. And I wonder, I wonder if the bottle is still in the trunk. So we shall endeavor to the secret hidden switch, which is back down underneath the rear rest, seat rest, and try to get the sucker opened up. Unless they rip the thing out. Oh, great. Hear a little yank. I don't. Oh. Two step? Huh. <laughs> oh, dear. To be continued, this Nitrous LS1 GTO will have to uh, wait a minute for me to get some pliers. Okay, so day number two with this GTO with the found nitrous kit on it, we have gained slight access to the trunk. We have tried and tried and tried to get it popped open, but to no avail, we are going to try and go through the speaker hole down in there and see if we can get the trunk to pop open. Um, just got that speaker popped out. Gonna get this other one popped out, maybe get a better reach. Um, but there should be a, you know, safety lever when someone gets locked in a trunk or whatever, that little dangly guy that you just grab and pull, get her a go yank. But it's gotta have the bottle in it. I mean, just, it just has to. We can see the lines. They've got the, uh, the purge, the purge line routed all nice you can just see them peeking through in there oh look at that shoot right out the front grills so it's definitely an na car but let's see if we can get this trunk opened up okay guys um as sad as it may sound i cannot get this trunk opened uh, I have been able to reach my hand all the way in and there is the guy to pull right here in case someone is trapped inside the trunk. That just does not do anything and boy does it hurt your arm scraping against that right there. So I guess we're going to go grab the big loader and pop it open with the fork. I know it's a nice lid but not as valuable as what's inside of that trunk. So I'll go grab that. We'll pop this guy open and have ourselves a fun little merry adventure. It's like Christmas, but you just you just don't simply unwrap the gift. You have to pop it open. Crazy, crazy. Look at that beautiful orange Mustang and another yellow Mustang. Coyotes and LS's coming in all day, every day. Off to the loader. Okay, it is the moment of glory. 
I am sorry, trunk friend. I am sorry. That's a big NOS bottle. All of the fun components. This will make a nice addition to the cheap LS, I must say. Now, why this thing wouldn't open, I don't know, but there's something funky going on with that lock. The loader made quick, oh, that's what I was feeling. A car cover. Gas can, that's always, that's always useful. Nothing wrong with a little gas can, but check that guy out. Wait, this trunk won't stay open now. That's kind of annoying. That is kind of annoying. Cool. Well, it looks like we got a complete setup for the cheap LS. And uh, see if we can blow that thing up the rest of the way. We've got a two-step off the Summit discount rack for $75. We've got the now full NOS kit for it. We already got long tube headers on it. A tune from PCMs for Less. Shout out to Keith for hooking us up with that. And now this guy. So the upgrades continue. The question is, where should we route it? Should we do the air filter port? Or should we do a um, plate? I'm thinking a plate because that makes sense, you know? But what is this guy? That says SLP on it. Hmm. <laughs> Very interesting. But at least we figured out what's in it. And the build will continue.